What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Recently I won a $100 Indigo gift card, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that I picked up in my haul. Let's get right into this. So for me personally, I'm not the type of person that usually goes to Indigo or Chapters because there's not a whole lot that's for me. I'm more into the side of purchasing things for collections rather than just books in general. So Indigo for me usually isn't something that I go to, but I know they do have Funkos, board games, and a whole bunch of other stuff, which is exactly what I wanted to spend this $100 on. So the first thing that I ended up purchasing was this Clue board game. This is the Liars Edition. This one here was, I believe $20. Now, this of course includes the button here, which does get annoying fairly quick, but I'm not somebody that's ever played Clue before, so me and my girlfriend have been playing this recently. You can play it with two people, but it definitely is a lot more fun with multiple people. This is the only board game that I ended up picking out. Everything else in this video is the collectibles that I ended up finding. So the first one is Jim from The Office. This is one that we've been personally looking for for a while, and I knew my girlfriend would absolutely love this. We absolutely love watching The Office together, and and love the office in general. So this one here is definitely one that I picked up for her, but this was one that we've been looking for for a while. It just so happened that we found it while we were at Indigo and I decided to spend my gift card on it for her. Next is something from a franchise that you guys know I absolutely love and that is Optimus Prime. I absolutely love this. I haven't found these out in the wild for a really long time. I haven't seen them at EB Games, Walmart, or anything really. Whenever I found this one here, they only had this one. They had other Transformers, but I absolutely love Optimus Prime. And for my first Transformer pop, I wanted to get Optimus Prime. They didn't have Bumblebee even, but this one here is a great one for me to add to my Funko Pop collection because I absolutely love the Transformers. Next is something that I just happened to look while I was moving all the Funkos around and seeing what was in behind them, and that is the Incredible Hulk Gold version. This one here was $16, but I absolutely love the Incredible Hulk. I can't find the gold ones too often out in the wild, especially places like Indigo, EB Games, stuff like that, because usually they've been swept up fairly quick and they don't have them in stock anymore. So finding this one here is the only gold of anything that I found. I decided to pick it up because you guys know I have a love for Marvel. And not only that, I do love the gold versions of the Funko Pops whenever I can find them. So this one here is definitely something very cool to add to my collection. And the last item that I got at Indigo with my $100 gift card is this coasters set. So this here is Hockey Night in Canada. This is an official hockey puck that has been cut in four to use as coasters. This here is originally at Indigo for $25, which I would not be paying that for it. Luckily, it was on clearance for $6, which is why I decided to pick it up. So that is everything that I ended up picking up at Indigo. Now, while we were at the dollar store, my mother-in-law ended up finding something for me, and I absolutely love it because, again, it's not something that I can often find, and that is another Funko Pop and that is the Iron Spider, the gold version for Iron Spider, which is crazy because I know the gold ones retail usually sell for around $16. Now, sometimes some of them are worth a little bit more. This one here, because it was bought at Dollarama, was only $4. Four freaking dollars for a gold Funko Pop is insane because usually everywhere retail sells these for $16 or more. If they specialize in Funko Pops and they do have a lot of Funko Pops that they sell, usually they're around $20 to $25, which I think is a little insane. When you can go to Walmart and get them for $16, or for example, my Incredible Hulk here that I found at Indigo, I purchased it for $16. This one here was at the dollar store for $4. Now they did have quite a few of them. Of course, I am a reseller, so I went to go back to see if I could get them to resell. They were already sold. So definitely if you're at any Dollaramas and you see something like a Funko Pop that you want to add to your collection, pick it up before it is gone because if it's something as cool as this gold iron spider, it's not going to be at the dollar store for long. People are gonna find it, pick it up and purchase it for themselves and you're gonna miss out. So definitely if you find something at the dollar store as cool as a Funko Pop that you want to have, it's only $4 at the Dollarama, 
you might as well pick it up. So this was my Indigo haul. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I not only found a cool board game for me and my girlfriend to play, but a whole bunch of collectibles that I can add to my collection from a gift card that I won at Indigo. Now for me personally, I usually don't win anything whenever it comes to a gift card giveaway, especially for a contest for a $100 gift card. Usually I don't win anything like that, but this one here I did luckily because not only did I find a really cool board game for me and my girlfriend to play and to play with other people, but we found some really cool Funko Pops to add to my collection, which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.